I'm Lucy Thompson and I'm Mariana Haitana and we're Year 10 students at MGC School. I definitely think it's quite crazy how like many generations there are and like it was so long ago that they were here and there's so much change but for them to like stand here and see us and um, their old school I think it's like really special. It's been a bit of a culture shock because it's been really yeah. cool hearing about how things were for them. Because like we've seen it in photos and stuff but it was really cool just like hearing it from them, you know, like what their school life was like compared to ours. So we, um, we learned a few tricks. There's a lot more but I'm not going to tell you girls because we might corrupt you. I've just been to the science lab for and into the gym, where in 1963 we were introduced to vaulting horses and other mysterious things. Oh, it's been really fun and like really interesting hearing about like what their experience was compared to like what ours is like. Um, I like that there's lots of different opportunities and the culture here is nice and diverse. It's like a whole school full of big sisters and little sisters. I really like the community side of MGC. I really like how it really involves everybody, like you can do arts, you can do sports, there's just something for everyone here. Seems to be like a lot more sneaky back then. Well one lady told us about how when like school finished because it was like yeah, and the boys would wait for them and they go over by the river to change out the uniforms and have a siggy. It's really cool to hear the stories because it's like you can hear about what it was like and how different it is and how much it's changed. The biggest changes, well they didn't have a drama room, it was just something that they did for fun in their spare time. I think it was a bit of a surprise for them and like a, like a surprise for us that they didn't have drama as an actual subject. Uh, the biggest change, probably the expansion, so the size, the number of extra buildings. There's just like a lot more opportunities for like sport, but like even cultural things. But I do lots of stuff for Kapahaka, it's been pretty cool. MGC has changed a lot over the past 60 years and being a part of that history is incredible. I think it's fantastic and seeing all the changes that have happened over the years, especially the uniform. The uniforms were so different, oh, yeah, yeah. like so different to they are now and we don't even like ours but thinking about <laughs> the uniform maybe we should appreciate it more. We had to wear hats. In the summer months, it was called the Panama, it was a white hat. And the um, Panama hats were really great frisbees. Oh, true. Our uniforms aren't great, but theirs were not good at all. Um, it was awesome to hear about how this school has started, and we were lucky enough to tour around three ladies who were the first people at the school, first year. Education-wise, what I found here at the school was really good. So if I could give anything to any of the students here, when they leave the school, that's not the end of education. No, definitely not. They need to get out, explore the world, do what they want. And my thing is, just whatever it is that you want to do, do never regret it, do it. And it's so cool to see how lucky we are to have the school we do today.